Hey everybody, my name is Adam. Welcome to my GoFundMe page. Um, and I thank you for being here. Um, hopefully that clap wasn't too ridiculously high on the uh, microphone. Um, and uh, I have a selection of other videos that I've done in order to uh, raise donations for this page, in order to raise donations for my trip. But uh, I'm going to pretty much put out as many videos as I can to try and prove to you guys, prove to whoever's watching this, prove to whoever you've ended up sharing uh, this video with, um, to um, for me to be a little bit selfish and have you, um, um, you know, uh, make a donation uh, to to this trip because it's uh, something that's going to be life changing uh, and uh, a trip that's going to benefit me in a whole lot of ways. And if you donate, you're going to get, you know, uh, a ton back um, in the first place. So, um, you know, a donation is is you know you're going to get returns, and it's not like I'm going to. You know, take your money and be like, I need it. And then you give me $5 and then I'll be like, all right, I'll see you. Bye. I don't remember my name and you're never going to hear from me again. Bye. And I've definitely, you know, given to given to um, friends, uh, you know, who needed money, all that sort of stuff where that's happened. And it's it can be annoying. But uh, so I thought um, for another update, um, still trying to think of a challenge to do uh, some sort of crazy challenge, fear challenge. Uh, not fear challenge, but some sort of like, you know, uh, I, I think I mentioned before in a video, eating, uh, you know, a certain amount of uh, Taco Bell uh, mild sauce packets for each $100 that was donated. So, uh, but um, because that hasn't happened yet, um, I decided to do this. So what I'm going to do, for those of you who uh, do know what it is, you're going to understand it, but I'm going to, what's called Kalego, which is a uh, sort of brain exercise that Kyle Cease has um, brought to the forefront. Um, I have no idea what that means. Uh, brought to the forefront like I'm, you know, a colonel in World War II. Well, we brought to the forefront, blah, 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 blah. Actually, it's more like political. Uh, but anyways, um, so I'm going to Kalego, uh, which it basically is like talking about an event that already happened in the future. Um, it hasn't happened yet, but talking like it has and like you've succeeded, and then basically your brain wants to close that loop and, uh, you know, you, you, you get this overwhelming feeling of confidence uh, because you've done that and your brain starts to try and, you know, come up with the uh, actions in order to make it true. Very helpful exercise. So today I'm going to do a uh, Clego, but with a twist. I'm going to do it as a as myself at 40 years old. So uh, what happened at the event, and then the the um, the actions that preceded it. Now this might be two three minutes. This might be five six minutes. So if you guys uh, will indulge me and stay on this video, even if it's you know seven eight nine ten minutes, that would be awesome. Uh, maybe even more. So uh, I thank you guys for watching so far. And uh, if you want to stick to this, uh, maybe uh, maybe kind of entertaining. Um, maybe entertaining in the way of <laughs> what what is he what? Or it might be like oh god yeah oh I want to be him. So. Um, but uh, yeah, and also remember that if you donate, it's going to be going to a great, um, great cause. Literally, g give five bucks on the GoFundMe page. Give five dollars and watch me to send you a thank you, make a thank you video, mention you, and send you personal videos of what's going on on the trip in LA. So the, if you give five dollars, it's going to mean something and you'll get something back. So uh, without further ado, further ado, uh, here's me clagling uh, uh, of what I described as a 40 year old man Boosh. okay um I ended up going to the event uh, in Los Angeles in February of 2014 and I had no idea what I was going to expect when I went but it was a it was incredible first of all Kyle Steves was awesome I got to meet him I got to shake his hand hug him a couple times because I want to become more one with myself um, and it could become more peaceful um, uh, but I uh, went to the event, and it was beautiful. First of all, Los Angeles is just, just you know, earthquakes. Uh, but other than that, just beautiful palm trees, so, something that I had never seen in western New York before in my life because where I live is, you know, one step away from Alaska. So I went, and it was incredible because I had always had this dream of being a comedian and actor, but I kind of settled, went to college for a degree that I really didn't want. But I always had this dormant feeling of wanting to be a comedian and actor. So I uh, went to the event, and it was incredible. I got to meet all these complete strangers who live, you know, in, you know, Texas and Utah and Florida, pe people that I would have never, you know, be, been able to, you know, meet. And um, 
you know, conversate with, um, you know, in the 20th century. It was just incredible. I get to meet all these people, meet people who are going to write books, meet people who are going to um, go on, you know, 90-day uh, weight loss programs, people that were going to, you know, start their own company, start their own advertising agency, do all these crazy things. And I got to get in this creative state of flow where, you know, anything was possible. And, and jokes started to come in at me, like, like just left and right, funny bits and funny sketches that I would have never thought of if I couldn't have gotten to this greatest state of flow. I felt like, you know, um, you know, Jim Carrey, Dave Chappelle, and, um, you know, insert your favorite comedian um, all at once. I felt this incredible power of like, holy shit, I am a funny person. It's just, it's it's not hard. It's just getting there and getting the thoughts. And I started coming up with this crazy stuff. Started thinking about ideas for short films and how to get there, how to fundraise that money, you know, because it's, sometimes it can be hard to fundraise thousands and thousands of dollars when you're just like, hey, I'm just some random dude and I want to raise the money, but, you know, I don't have, you know, a million connections and I'm not this important person you know you know I don't have touchstone pictures behind me but you know it was incredible I came up with all these ideas I get to visit LA you know I, I partied a little bit but obviously it's Los Angeles I had never been there and I always lived in a part of the country which is kind of a little bit boring so it was really really awesome I get to meet all these different people Kyle had the, all these legendary guest speakers who were just amazing those people were like oh my god I've seen this person on television film I've read their books I've done all this but they're in front of me right here it's so crazy I got to do that and it was incredible. I got to do this over a three day period and uh, just had so much fun. You know, got to, you know, stay in a hotel and just get away from my problems, have a vacation, something that I haven't, hadn't done in years and years and years primarily because of college. Just being able to just sit in the sun, sit on the beach, feel the sand in between my toes and just be like, oh my God. And holy shit, I think I need to move somewhere that is a lot like, or just moved to LA at very, very soon point in my life. So I, it was incredible. And um, you know, I had got back and I started to produce all this content and produce all this stuff. And I wrote some short films. Ended up one of them, uh, you know, later down the road, went to uh, the Cannes Film Festival and and, and 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 did well. I started auditioning for feature films. Got some feature films. Started building my name up. Started doing stand up at the same time, so I could live both dreams. Um, I moved to the West Coast and I did all this crazy stuff. And and you know, my career as I just started let going of fears and let going of things that I didn't need. My career just started to skyrocket my name started to become you know the marquee name where it's like ding you know like uh you know flashing on the marquee of like ah coming to you know the 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 will turn theater adam like you know it was just insane and i i was able to get a you know all these different things talk with an agency and start to do crazy, crazy, crazy things and things that I had never thought I would be able to do without a degree from NYU or USC or, you know, connections and being able to live in these certain places. And everything just started going crazy. I started getting awards, Golden Globes. Uh, you know, Oscars, you know, down the road and, and, and be in these breakthrough films and, and be with these actors that I had, you know, watched for years and always just, just, just was absolutely just so, you know, enthralled by their work and just in, in cr these crazy things like it was living a dream. And I got to be on, you know, shows like Late Show with Craig Ferguson and Letterman and talk about my life like people, you know, millions of people cared. And, you know, it's just really great. So I, I, I'm very thankful, very, very thankful for going to Kyle Cease's event and uh, it changed my life. And it could change your life, but it was amazing and uh, I'll never forget it. And that, whoo! is me collagling like I am 40 years old after going to the Kyle Cease event in February, February 21st through 23rd. If you have stayed at the end, till the end of this video, first of all, I thank you so much because there's so many different things that you could be doing. Facebook, YouTube, uh, stumble upon Twitter, Vine, um, you know, jogging with your dog, which I don't really, you know, promote that much because come on, it's a little lame, you know, you jog and then walk your dog. Um, but uh, you could be doing a lot of different things and you stayed here, so I thank you guys so much. Please remember, if you donate, just go into your credit card information, donate five bucks instead of buying a couple Couple Snickers bars or you know buying a Snapple from the grocery store 
you know, donate $5. It'll mean so much, you know, just the fact that a little bit of that amount of the trip is going to be chipped off. And, you know, some of the money that I made, uh, you know, through the, the, the boring winter won't, you know, have to all be, you know, going to this. Although I'll, I obviously would do that, um, uh, you know, if, if I needed to. But any amount that you can give will mean so much. If you give $100, that's great. But if you give $5, I'll thank you on three or four different platforms and it will mean so, so much. And, you know, if you go to the event that I can shake your hand, I can meet you, I can talk about who you are and, you know, and, and, and find out the person you are and it'll go a mile if you do it. So um, I, I'm sorry that if this video has just gone like 20 minutes, but if you've watched the whole thing, then you are awesome. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about donating, feel, feel free to email me at adamlide at buffalo.edu. Hit me up on Twitter at Adam wide and um, you know I can answer you from there any questions you might have about the trip I'm gonna be vlogging the entire thing so you'll be able to see what's happening instead of just giving me money and be like okay I, whatever so anyways thank you guys for watching this video I'm gonna make another update in a couple days uh, but I thought I would do this uh, fun thing uh, in order to just keep adding to this uh, page and keep it fun. So I thank you guys for watching. I apologize if it, it was a little long, but I thank you guys for sticking around. If you have any questions, just hit me up, and I'll see you guys soon.